Hi guys and welcome back. In this video we are going to be seeing how to use name tags for a multiplayer game in Unreal Engine 5. Basically we'll get a name displaying on top of a player. So let's get started. Now before we actually start with the video, if you guys have any questions or suggestions you guys can leave them down in my discord server or if you guys do wish to support me my patron page is down in the description as well. So I just have the blank third person template. First of all, we'll need a widget to actually store our name. So I'll just go ahead and create a user widget and we'll call this one BP name tag widget blueprint. Open it up and we'll keep things simple and have a text. You can customize it however you want. We'll make this one variable and we'll just center align it for good measure. And I'll change this from fill screen to custom. Let the height be a little bit less. So let's say the height is 50. And we can change the width to something like 350. That should be enough. And over here we'll just replace the placeholder text to name. Instead of this, the name is going to come. We'll also create a simple function. So we'll call this one set name. What this will do is it'll just update the name in our widget here. So we'll call it a new name. We'll go ahead and set the text. You can use the function rather. Set text. The variable is going to work as well. Drag that in. Now we'll just go ahead and print out so that we know that we are actually coming here. So name is set. And we can go ahead and just append that with something. So with, we can append that with the name itself. So append string. So we know whose name we are setting. This is just for our reference though. Name is set. Just add a colon over there. And go ahead and get the new name. Alright. Now in a character, what we'll use is called a widget component. And we'll call this one name tag. Now in the viewport, if you notice, you get something like this. And on the right hand side, we can choose our widget class, which will be our BP name tag. You can adjust its location accordingly. Now this component over here itself refers to what we have in the scene here. However, this does not represent the widget itself. The widget itself can be referred to by dragging this in and using in get widget. So get widget is going to get us the actual widget where we can call the set text function. All right. So if you were to go ahead and press play, I have, I've had uh, the instance set to number of players two and players listen server. All right. If you notice, you just see name and also you can see your own name. If you don't want to see your own name, you can just set owner no see to true. So under your name tag, there's an option called owner no see. Basically, your player won't be able to see it. So if you have a look now, you can't see it. However, the name is also not really updated. So the way we'll do that is we'll do it on begin play first of all. I'll just grab this really handy node called a sequence. Sequence will basically execute these nodes in order of what we have put here. So this is some input stuff which we do not want to mess around with. So we'll have that. We'll leave that separately. So we'll just move this up. And we'll work out our logic over here. We'll have a simple name variable. You can choose to do it in any other way as well. And we want to set the name from our player state basically. So we want to get player state and what we want to do is we want to get player name and we want to set the name to that. Now we will see a small problem with this and we will rectify that. So if I were to go ahead and press play, if you notice it's still name and you also get this access none error. In fact, you get it three times. The reason is the player state is not yet valid by the time we execute this. So simple fix to this is to go ahead and convert this to validated get. 
and only if it is valid we will set it and if it is not valid we can just wait until the next frame this technique is known as polling and we usually do this when you're initializing stuff and to make sure everything is set and stuff so if it's not not valid we will wait a frame and eventually the player state will be valid it is guaranteed so now if i go ahead and press play nothing's going to happen but you will not get the error over there so we have to call the set text function so set name and we don't have the function because it belongs to our name tag so we'll get the widget and we have to cast it to name tag the reason is we know that this is a widget but we don't know that it's a name tag widget so once we have the name tag widget we can go ahead and set the name and the name is going to be just our name variable let's go ahead and press play and as you see you get the name and you get the name over here as well however this is not how you would want to do it now the reason i say that is let's say we change the name in between or let's say a player disconnects and rejoins in that case his or her name will not be updated so this is not how you do it and the name itself is not replicated by any means so it's only valid on that particular client so what we want to do is we want to first of all make this rep notify the reason we are making it rep notify so that we know when the value changes and over here we want to cut and paste the logic over here now if we go ahead and press play as you would see we set each name on every client so as you see we get both the names set and over here you should be able to see the name of that particular client and over here as well you should be able to see the name of the particular client which you are looking at so the player standing there is gaminator d 0a 01 whatever is that whatever that is and this one is gaminator ecb 70 whatever that is so that's it for this video guys thanks for watching if you guys did learn something new and if you guys did enjoy the video make sure you guys do leave a thumbs up and make sure you guys do join my discord server if you guys have any questions or suggestions and i'll see you guys next time goodbye